Welcome to Microsoft Power Apps Tutorials. In this video, we'll discuss about uh, first and first end formulas. And if you want to get the first record in the table, or if you want to get the first end records in the table, we will use these formulas. And the same manner, we can use last and last end formulas. If you want to get the last record in the table, you can use this one. And if you want to get multiple items in the last, maybe three items, four items, and you want to uh, get that into a table, you can use this one and this first will return a record and the first n will return a table which means it returns multiple and last will return record and last n will re uh, returns multiple values and if you want to get a specific record in the table maybe a 10th record or maybe 100th record you can use the index formula and we have date and time if you want to get the current date or if you want to uh, show a specific date you can use a date formula and if you want to get the time uh, you can use a time so date will have the properties like uh, year month day and the time will have a properties like hour minutes and seconds and also if you want to get the weekday maybe it's a first day a second day what is the day you want to know you can use a weekday formula so we'll use this one in the power app so for that I'm going back to the power app studio in the power app studio first I'll insert uh, a data table so I'll take a uh, uh, one data connection that is in a country's financial is available now I'll adjust this data table to see better now this contains almost 500 records we'll try to add a ID column here I'm just adding ID column and I want to make that in a first or second place so we will we can able to see better So in this table, we have a record starting from 201202 and this is the first record in the table. Now what I want is, I want to get the first record in this table. So for that, here in the items, I'll type FIRST first and when I open the parentheses, it is asking for the source and source is this country's financial. I'm closing this one. Now you can able to see you got the first record in the data table. Now I want to get first 10 records or first 5 records for that I'm just entering this first n and I'm closing deleting I'm opening this parenthesis first it is asking for the source I have given now after that when I enter comma it is asking for the count which means how many the number of rows you want to return I want to return a 10 rows so for that I just entered 10 now I got the 10 results if I enter 5 records I'll get 5 records. So this way you can get the first record or you can get the first 10 records. In the same fashion what I want is I want to get last record. I'm just typing last and then open parenthesis. The source is country's financial. If I close this one this is the last record. The ID of the last record is 700. In the same manner if I want to get last 10 records I can able to get from here if I type last n and it also contains two parameters one is source another one is the count I'll pass 10 and I'll get the 10 records so you got the 10 records so this way you can able to get in the last 10 records I want to get the first record in the last 10 records you can able to use a combination of the formulas now here if I type this first and then open parenthesis if I close this one I'll get the 691th record and uh, for example if you want to get last uh, three records in the last 10 records you can use again last n and after this one you can use comma and then pass three and you'll get the last three records so you can use first and last combination as well and also if you want to use a filter also inside this one you can able to use the filter for example we know that filter returns table now I'm typing this filter and open parenthesis now uh, which is asking a source source is country's financial now in this one now I want to get the data which is country is equal to Canada now I'm typing country is equal to Canada so I'll pass as a string now when I close this one uh, I got a plenty of records 
but in this we have 203 213 couple of records which are related to this now here also we can able to use a first and uh, open parenthesis and you can close it here I'll get the first one and if you want to get uh, multiple records in this one you can use this first end with a 10 so you got the records here so this first and last you can use a combination with your data source filters as well but whenever you are writing a first and last this works on the tables itself it will not work on any other uh, single records or any other data types your data type is table then first and last will be uh, will work otherwise it will not work now what i'll do is so now we have this combination now if i remove these all i can get complete table so then we'll see the index part so it contains lot of uh, records now this is the first record second record third fourth fifth like this i want to get a specific record like uh, this enterprise is in the 10th position and i want to get the 10th record so for that we can able to use index when you type index and when you try to open the parenthesis it will ask the table so the table is countries financial and it is asking for the index i want to get the 10th record so if i type like this i'll get this 201 210 for example if i want to get the 100th record and you can able to see which is a 303 id record because it starts from 200 so which is the 100th record on the same manner if you want to get 120th record you can get the 120th record as well so index will help you to get a specific record and uh, you know the specific index number in the table you just need to enter the specific you know 120th record or 10th record or 100th record or maybe 200th record if you enter like this and it will return that specific record only index returns record first returns record and last returns record but first end and last end returns the table if you want to if you want to know about it for example if i remove this one if i type last n here and then see the data type which is a table so it returns table and even if you type this first n it returns table but if you write this first and i'll remove this one i'll remove this one it returns it is also showing uh, it it is just before it showed data type as a table but that's wrong it returns record first and last returns the records first end and last end returns the table and index also returns the record so this is about the formulas if you want to get a specific record or if you want to get the first records or last records now we'll, we'll work with the date date related stuff so for that i'm just inserting a label here and i'll make this little bigger to see Now here we'll type this date formula if I type this date formula when I open the parenthesis it will ask us to enter the year so year which is 2022 and then month uh, is August which is number 8 and the date is 5th and when I close this one and the date format will come so this is we are just hard coding it and uh, we'll make this dynamic and before making this dynamic what I'll do is I'll copy this one I'll paste it out here and then now I want to get the current today's date so for that I'll just copy I'll paste this one done now if I type today open and close parenthesis you can see the same day the same manner if I paste one more label here and in this label we have another formula name called now so i'll type that one if we type now now it also returns the current date but it returns with the time and uh, if you use today it only returns with the date if you use now it returns with the time as well so now for example if you want to get a dynamic day here so you no need to enter this all now i'll use before using this one we'll we'll try to understand other formulas also for example i want to get an, a specific day so for that i want to get to today date only
I just try to paste it, but uh, it is taking time. Okay, we'll take a new instance. I'm just typing make.powerapp.com. We'll wait for a while. Okay, so we are not saved that, but we'll try. We'll try to implement again the same one. Okay, we'll go to this screen. So now what I want is I want to get an a day so for that I'll copy this one and then I'll paste it out here so here what I'll write is I want to get the day so for that I'm just typing this today here we'll get the day here day is fifth and if you want to get the month you can able to type month here if you type you will get the month and if you type this as year you'll get the year so we are getting the month and we are getting the day and we are getting the year so instead of hard coding this one and we'll change this one with the formula so just before we have typed today and if you want to type now also it will work here and it gets 2022 and here if I type uh, month and uh, I'll take today here instead of now you can use anything and uh, the final one is day you can use today or now whatever you like to use you can use this one so now it will get the current date now it, if, if you if you open this application tomorrow it will change the date here just before we hard-coded this one the same manner we have uh, 
weekdays as well for example you want to get the weekday and I'll change this here if I type this weekday and uh, this is actually Friday Friday is sixth day of the week you can get this one if you change the date and you can get the different uh, weekday so weekday will represent like if it is in Sunday the number it will show one and if it is Monday 2 if it is Tuesday it is 3 if it is Wednesday which is 4 and Thursday 5 and Friday 6 Saturday and 7th so this way it will show the weekday and also if you want to get the time so you, you are using now and you are getting the time and we have a different formula for time as well I'll remove this one and if I type this time if I open open this parenthesis which is asking for hour minute second now I'll type uh, which is eat and uh, minute which is 51 and seconds I'll type something called 29 if I close this one you can able to see 8:51 a.m. and which is coming in a a.m. format for example if I change this to 14 and then it will change to 2:51 p.m. so because 14 is p.m. So this way you can able to show the time also here now you can here you can able to see 251 29 pm which is showing and the date data type uh, for the time is time you can able to see the time if you come back here if i click on this one the data type of this one is date and time is one of the data type and date is one of the data type here so these two are the different uh, data types date and time are two different type of data types and if you want to get the current time you can use and to get the current date you can use today formula and if you want to get the time as well you can use it now